Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. For some time now, I've wanted to do a piece about writer cutter sets, and in particular, the ones which are at the sort of cheap and cheerful range. And I don't want people to mock uh, the idea of buying cheap and cheerful writer cutters, because if you buy a set of all different profiles, the chances are you're only going to use one or two of them uh, two or three times a year. Uh, and so actually, at the lower end of the market, it makes sense uh, to fill the gaps in your writer cutter arsenal uh, with something like this. Now, I've had the 30-piece quarter-inch uh, cutter set from Trend for about four years now. Uh, I've used most of the cutters, but not all of them. And really, that's the whole point of writer cutter sets at this end of the market, is that it's not about uh, what you want to use today, it's what you might want to use tomorrow. You've always got the capability there, should you need it. Now, I'm really grateful to Trend, who've now sent a sample of their 35-piece half-inch uh, cutter set to me. Now, I don't like to talk about prices in my videos anymore, because A, they vary over time, and also they vary from country to country, or region to region. But, what I will say about both of these is if you look at the price per cutter when you do your internet search for the price of these, uh, you're looking, certainly in the case of the half-inch set, at something under £2 per cutter. Now, the first thing to note is that the cutters come in this quite handy storage case, and when you open this up, uh, there are the cutters displayed, uh, and there's a description of each cutter uh, just underneath where it's stored. Now, you should note that when the cutters arrive, they will be encased in this protective film, uh, which you have to take off. And you can take that off by just picking at it with your thumbnail, use the edge of a scraper. But do take care, the cutters can be very sharp, and so watch you don't cut yourself in that process. And there we have the, the first two uh, that I've done. And they've got a little bit of oil on them, as you can see, uh, to protect them. And there's the uh, last one done. So they're all ready to be put into action. Now, of these 35 cutters, 21 of them are bearing guided. The cutters are all in imperial sizes, which actually, considering most of our stock material, uh, still comes in imperial sizes, like half-inch thick chipboard and so on and so forth, is not such a bad thing. There are six flush trim cutters, uh, five of which are bearing guided. We've got Overlo OG, Dovetail, Corbett, V, a good range of two flute cutters, chamfer cutter, three guided groovers, three uh, core box cutters, two dovetail cutters, and two coving cutters. There, now, there's absolutely no way that I'm going to demonstrate each one of these cutters. But what I will do is show you something which is very important when you've got a, a set of cutters. You can make up a compound profile using two or more cutters. Now, this may be difficult to visualise, but what I intend to do is make up a small section of what could be picture frame. It's going to have a rebate, uh, which is where the picture and the glass uh, might go in from. It's going to have a decorative uh, front edge here and a rounded groove here using a core box cutter and another decorative feature here using a cavet uh, cutter. So that's four different operations on this one piece of wood. Now I'm going to do this on the router table for simplicity. Uh, if you had the means of holding the work, uh, you could do this with a handheld router. And on each cutter, you will notice that there's the maximum speed that the cutter can run at. And also the, there's a, a mark that shows you uh, the depth the cutter should go into your collet. Now, I appreciate there's a good chance that a lot of people watching uh, may be new to router work uh, because they've just bought their first router and it happens to be they've just bought their first uh, set of router cutters. Uh, I'm not going to give you a lesson on how to use your router or how to use a writer table. That is something that you should uh, discover yourself by either reading the manufacturer's instructions uh, or having uh, some lessons or indeed getting some advice from a friend. But for now, I'm just going to take you through the steps uh, to make that picture frame.
Now I've installed the first cutter, which is a, a two flute uh, cutter. It's the largest one in the set. Uh, and I'm going to use this to cut the rebate at the back, which is where the, the glass, uh, the picture and the backing board will go. And I've set this to a depth of seven millimeters. And I want the uh, width of the rebate to be uh, 12 uh, millimeters. This measurement is not super critical because if one were making a picture frame, uh, then one would assemble the frame and then after it's made measure uh, the size of the glass and the backing board. So that's now set up and we can do our first uh, cut. Now safety is all important when you're using a router table and I have ear defenders, I have safety glasses and I'm going to be using two uh, aids so that I can guide the material. One is a push stick which I'll use from the rear and the other is this uh, little gadget I've made up which allows me uh, to guide a piece of wood and push it against the fence and downwards onto the table uh, to make sure it's safe. And there's that rebate cut done. And next I'm going to do that little decorative a core box feature which will be in the middle of the front of the rail. You can probably see that detail there. For this next operation I'm going to put a decorative detail here. Now ordinarily I would have done that before doing this rebate because Having done this rebate, the bearing on the cutter I've got installed will have nothing to run against. But I've done this deliberately to demonstrate that even though you've got a bearing guided cutter, you don't need to rely on its bearing in order to get uh, the piece of work done. And what I've done now is I've used my uh, rule in order to get the fence lined up exactly with that bearing. So now when I run the piece of work past here, it's going against the fence and it's just as though it were against the bearing. So there you can see that stage done. And now uh, the final cut with the final right of cut. Now this bit of picture frame is really a very simple, trivial uh, piece of work, but you can, uh, with a, a choice of cutters like this, make up some quite elegant profiles. So there you have it, that's the 35 piece half inch shank cutter set from Trend. Now remember what I said, you need a, a general set of cutters for that odd time when you want to do a particular shape. None of these cutters are going to get used day in there. If they are, you need to be buying really expensive cutters for the particular job you're doing. So this is the set that you use when you decide, ah, I need to do a particular job. And so you go and choose the cutter or the cutters uh, that you need for that job. You might only be making eight feet of picture frame a year, that sort of thing. At less than two pounds a cutter, you just can't go wrong. Now, don't take my word for it. Uh, why don't you go along to a show? The next show uh, that is on my calendar is the DNM show. It's in October of this year, the 12th to the 14th. It's at Kempton Park. And I know that Trend have got a stand there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. <music>